okay students good morning a very good morning to all of you today we'll start with the first unit of sales and retail management and we'll be having three videos for the first unit and this is the first video and in this particular video we'll be sharing the various things like introduction to the sales the role of selling and marketing what is sales management nature of sales management scope of sales management role and skill of sales, modern sales manager so we'll start with the evolution of the sales management before the industrial revolution uh, which began in 1760 ad in england small scale manufacturers had a commanding influence on the economy they used to produce um, their goods and the manufacturers were receiving most of the attention because that was the major problem goods were already always sold to the nearby customers without any problem but after the industrial revolution in united in united kingdom and the american revolution in the united states large scale manufacturers came into the market and they started producing huge quantities of goods so what happened now in this such a condition separate functional departments were established which included your finance department your finance department with the manufacturing department the sales department due to the manufacturing of goods in large quantities uh, selling to the nearby market was not only adequate so now the goods had to be spread to the far off markets so there was a need to expand the market so this was possible only when the involvement of in intermediaries so in such a condition and the uh, such a condition we had started having wholesalers retailers selling the company's goods to the consumers who were located far away from the manufacturing units so in this in this way the marketing function split into sales and other functions like marketing research advertisement physical distribution etc and we started having different functional departments mm, were established now we'll start about how did sales management actually start so the very initial people who is to sell the things were the yankee pair peddlers they were the ferry walas they were the pack peddlers they were the greeters and the drummers so the yankee peddlers the ferry walas and the pack peddlers they were actually those people or you can say the, these were the hawkers these people used to carry their goods from one town to the other town selling their things then uh, as uh, sales evolved we started having greeters and drummers and these were actually the intermediaries to the buyers so the wholesalers and manufacturers hired the greeters and the drummers and who would go out and invite retailers to visit the display to visit the display of the owner so the drummers would meet the passengers from the incoming trains and ship with great fanfare uh, to beat the competitors then the drummers started visiting the customers place of business so the, there were traveling sales people who took order for the goods so you can see how it started evolving from small um, hawkers then we started having greeters and drummers and after that we started having the modern sales management which, which you can see in the present scenario So if we talk about the modern sales management uh, we can say who was the father of modern sales management like we see it in, in the present scenario actually the father of man, modern sales management you can owe it to mr john henry patterson he was actually the national cash registry he used to run his national cash registry in usa he used to ask his best sales people to demonstrate their sales technique to the other sales people um so what did the uh, what they did that he asked his good sales people you know, to print pamphlets and distribute to the other sales people so that the other sales people could also understand how to uh, get the uh, how to get the ideas of selling so the approach is printed and distributed to the uh, to the other sales people so mr mr patterson he also did one thing he assigned exclusive territories to his people so you can see how sales is evolving how from the hawkers then how mr patterson brought about the uh, division of territories to his people and how he used to demonstrate how to sell the things to the people so he trained started training the people and he used to arrange frequent sales meetings that actually served the double purpose of training and socializing also so thomas j watson was trained by patterson who later on found ibm 
So Patterson was actually the pathfinder who showed the strategy and skill required to transform a sales force into an effective workforce for generating the sales and profits. So that is why you can say that Patterson was actually the father of modern sales management. He taught how to train the people, how to motivate, how to motivate the people, how to transform the sales people into effective sales people so that they could bring profit and sales for their organization. Now we talk what is sales management. If we talk what is sales management, sales management is the management of the personal selling part of a company's marketing plan. Then if we talk about the a definition according to marketing management, according to American Marketing Association, that is the AMA, sales management means the planning, direction and control of personal selling, including recruiting, selecting, equipping, assigning, routing, supervising, paying and motivating as this task apply to the personal sales force. So American Marketing Association is telling what that the personal sales force has uh, uh, the personal sales force has to be directed, they have to be controlled, they have to be recruited, they have to be selected, they have to be motivated. So it is actually covering all the aspects of how you appoint a sales force in the organization and how you make them work and how they contribute to the effectiveness of the organization, how they contribute to gain the profits for the organization. Now, if you talk about the nature of sales management, uh, nature of sales management over here, we talk the integration, integrating with marketing management. Second, we have scope of sales management. Then we have role and skills of modern sales managers. So in the diagram, you can see that there is a typical marketing organization structure which integrates sales and marketing functions. The support activities are either handled within the company or outsourced to specialists like marketing research agencies and advertising agencies. But the real integration between sales and marketing teams would take place if there is a harmonious relationship that is built on the understanding of the common goals and effective process of delivering the intended service to the customers. You can see over here that there is an integration of various types of work. You can see the marketing manager promotion, there is the, ma there is the manager who is uh, responsible for market research then you have the manager sales you have the manager manager market logistics manager customer services so there's an integration of the various activities which are related to the marketing management then it is also about relationship selling uh, relationship selling means mostly means when you're going to sell to the people we wish to have a long time relationship we want to establish a long time relationship with the customers now if we talk about transactional selling transaction means a one time transaction the main work of our salesperson is to complete a transaction and to close the deal so that is a transactional relationship that means you are selling the product to the customer once and the transaction or the deal gets closed so you're not focusing mostly on the long-term relationship that you wish to maintain. But in collaborative or you can say in relationship selling, the main focus is on having a long-term relationship with the customers. So we go to the first point in this, uh, in integrating with marketing management. Sales management is a part of marketing management. You can see that a marketing management actually consists of two basic type of groups. One group which stays in the headquarter and the other group which goes out in the field for the selling purpose. So first point field sales team or the field sales force. They remain in the territories contacting the existing and the prospective customers. So they are actually the people who are working out in the field. Their main work is in the field. And then you have the headquartered marketing team. The headquarter marketing team, what are they doing? They are actually they are actually promoting the support functions to the salespeople. They promote, they are doing the promotion of the products. They are looking at the marketing research. They are actually looking at the distribution of the product, the customer service that has to be given to the customers. So you can describe their jobs in the following points. The headquarter based service and support functions are as follows. First is promotion and marketing communication. So this is, these work is being done by those people who are sitting in the headquarters. These are the additional or you can say these are support functions that is being given to the field sales people by those people who are already stationed in the headquarter. 
so uh, the promotion or the marketing communication activity consist of the advertisement the selling sales promotion the publicity the direct marketing etc then you have if we talk about marketing research everybody knows marketing research is what it is the collection and interpretation of information in the customers you have to collect the info you have to collect the information about the customers the competitors the product the market and so on because uh, these information is actually required by the sales people who are going out into the field to sell those particular products so for example the field sales people need the information on competitors what is the price what is the price the competitors given what's the discount they're offering what are the payment terms what are the standard delivery terms they're providing so this all this information is actually gathered through the marketing research now if you talk about market logistics market logistics is what it is actually the physical distribution of finished goods uh, this is really concerned with the distribution of the goods which includes warehousing the inventory the transform transportation and the order processing so totally physical distribution of goods from where it reaches from the manufacturers to the ultimate customer so all this includes the logistics then you had the customer service in customer service uh, the company has to look after the pre sales and the post sales services for example any problems which are related to the post sales services uh, were resolved by the mahindra dealer by assigning a service advisor to every vehicle when it came for service to the showroom so for having an effective and long term uh, long term relationship with the customers a uh, marketing manager has to give good customer service to its customers and then lastly you have coordination so there have to have an effective marketing function there should be proper coordination between the customers between the company sales people the, between the production and operation by employing inside sales people increasing number of companies are employing inside sales people to support customer and outside sales people also so there has to be coordination bit among all the various uh, the various uh, you can say the various people who are actually involved with the selling functions so these are the functions which is done by the uh, people who are sitting at the headquarter the marketing team that is working from the headquarters so they are actually supporting the field sales team which is working outside in the field or you can say in the market now if i talk about the scope of sales people sales management the uh, during the early period of gradual development of sales management the scope of sales management was very narrow the main activities of sales management were recruiting uh, selecting training motivating and supervising the sales people but at this current time the sales management has much broader scope in addition to the traditional activities which was defined by american marketing association the uh, uh, that is indicated that the earlier sales managers were responsible for many more tasks the current sales manager has a lot of tasks to be done apart from the traditional work that was given by aam these include participating in strategic planning forecasting sales then you have budgeting process deciding the sales strategies developing the sales force organization motivating the sales force recruiting the sales force coordinating internally with the various department in the sales in the agency so sales manager has to ensure that all these tasks are done very effectively so the primary objective of sales management is to achieve the targeted or budget sales volume sales manager are actually responsible to reach the goals of the market share and the sales growth so the job of the first sales manager that is district manager the branch manager differ from actually other management jobs these sales managers cannot directly supervise the work of the sales people reporting to them because many times they work away from the company offices to meet the business customers um, like the intermediaries like the distributors thus the scope of sales management extends from management of sales force to various other tasks so you can see that the that from a very narrow scope how in the current scenario the, the scope has has a lot of broader meaning you now talk about the role of sales managers the role of sales managers it is actually the highest level is often called the director or the vice president of sales or you can say the general manager sales or national sales manager they develop all the long term sales forecasts they set the long term objectives obtain information about the changing needs of the customers as well as strength and weaknesses of the customers the they actually the 
then second point coordination the first level sales manager like the area managers the sales managers support the sales people and coordinate with production planning and market logistic department the branch managers conduct the monthly or the quarterly meetings so that they can have a better coordination among all the levels of the managers then we use technology also like ERP and CRP and CRM software packages that are used to ensure that superior customer service is being provided. Then managing the multiple channels like online selling through the internet, telemarketing, personal selling through manufacturing respectives. So these are all the activities a sales manager has to do. Then he is also a member of a corporate team. So he has to ensure organizational objectives, customer satisfaction, sales growth and market share. The sales manager is also a team leader. He has to achieve the sales goals and profits. Latest CRM technologies are also used to achieve all the activities of the sales department. He has to continually understand changes in environment and update the strategies. Now we talk about the skills of a sales manager. Now we talk about the skills of a sales manager. Uh, skills of a sales manager is actually uh, distributed into mainly three types of skills the people skills the management skills and the technical skills from the name itself like we understand what can be people skill it is related to the people so the manager has to motivate the sales people he has to lead them he has to communicate and co coordinate effectively with the sales people for effective deal team building so first level manager should mentor and improve performance and resolve the conflicts so it is dealing with the people then secondly of the managing skills it includes all the administrative skills like planning organizing controlling decision making it can be learned through attending various management development programs then you had technical skills where you have to train yourself where you know how to negotiate with the people how you are you going to use the erp software how you are going to use the crm software so the various technical skills so these are the broader skills which has to be maintained by the sales manager now we talk about the importance of sales management how is the sales management important? It is actually it is the most important department of our company because it is the only revenue generating uh, revenue generating area of the department of the organization. No other department is actually generating the revenue. Now it so it is the most exciting. Uh, so it is the most exciting department. It is highly financially rewarding. It is a very challenging career. It is the fastest and surest route to get to the top management it is the only function that generates the review and it directly impacts the bottom line on net profit if we talk about how it is important for the company then you can see that it is the revenue generating department and if you talk about importance of sales management for the students actually in the market the maximum amount of jobs that a student can get is from of the sales department only because it is having the various types of jobs like the sales manager the sales person the uh, first sales level managers the branch managers various types of or you can say the maximum number of jobs or job openings are present there only for the sales department only so that is what is important for the students to learn about sales management now we talk about the types of sales managers, the levels of sales management positions. So the various types of sales management, we, you can see over here in the diagram, the top level sales managers is considering the CEO, the vice president sales, the vice president marketing, then you have the national sales manager. And the middle level sales manager, the regional, the zonal and the divisional yeah. sales manager. And, and the first or the lower level sales manager, the district or the branch and the area sales manager. And the lowest level, that is the sales people who are the sales representative who work below the first level sales manager. So the level of sales management position, we talk about it, that the top level sales managers, the highest level is often called the director sales or the vice president sales, the general manager sales. They are actually responsible for making all the long term marketing and sales plan, scanning the sales external environment because it is very necessary to understand how the market is working. They set the long and the short term objectives and goals. They develop the strategies for achieving them. For example, if Mr. X joins Steel Tubes Limited as general manager and he wants to see his company holding the first position in the market share within next three years from rank number three. So in that case, he has to set his, he has to decide the long term objectives and he has to uh, make uh, the long term objectives 
pass it on to the immediate lower middle level managers that is the zonal managers from the is from the zonal managers it is necessary that zonal manager explains it very nicely to the first level managers and the, it is the work of the first level managers who will get it done through the sales people so in this way the all the long or the you can say strategic decisions are taken by the top levels and it is passed on to the lower level managers who get it done through the sales people next is the middle level or the tactic tactical sales managers this position carries the title of regional zonal sales manager whose main responsibility is to manage the several branches or districts reporting to them and to implement the strategies and action plan approved by the top management some companies eliminate have eliminated this particular level so that the organization can be made much flatter for example if I, x and y limited has four regional sales manager in the metro cities of kolkata delhi mumbai and chennai and they are selling uh, consumer durables each rsm is having three or four, four branch managers who are reporting to them so the main responsibilities of the middle level sales manager over here is to allocate the regional sales and expenditure budget to the respective branches implement the marketing strategies review the branch performance every month and decide the corrective actions and then suggest increments promotion and training needs for all the persons working in that region so this is the work of the middle level sales manager then you have the first level sales manager or the entry level sales manager which is entry level sales position is like what it is like the branch sales managers area sales managers or the district sales managers they are directly responsible to achieve the sales goals and objectives by providing day to day supervision to the sales people they implement the rules decided by the higher level of management and they get the work done by the first or by the sales people for example there is a mr shah and mr shah who is the sales uh, uh, mr shah is the branch manager of ahmedabad office and in the meeting it is found that shah sales performance for the last year was above the yearly sales goal but the profit contribution was below the target but then and then it was found that the main reason was that the branch selling expenses were higher than the budget so after analysis it was found that six out of the eight sales person traveling and lodging expenses were higher than the budget levels so during the performance review with the regional sales manager shah admitted that his supervision of sales person was actually focused on achievement of sales targets rather than the expenses of the sales people so the regional sales manager pointed out that the branch manager's responsibility was not only to achieve the sales target but consistently to control the expenditure so as to achieve the contribution profit contribution goals also so these were the various levels of the sales managers so uh, if we say that uh, we have covered what we have covered the introduction what is the sales manager what are the various levels of the sales managers what is the activities the sales managers have to do what is the importance of the sales management and how it evolved so in this video up till here only we'll be discussing and in the next video we'll talk about the various sales position jobs that are available there in the market so thank you students um, we'll meet after this uh, we'll meet in the next video thank you all of you